Welcome to Winning With Your Game, part two. The video is very simple. We're going to shape your mentality to build points within your style of play. Let's get started. In part two of this series, Winning With Your Game, we will build on the foundation we created in part one, shot selection and court position. In part one, you learned about hitting shots that are good for your court position, how much time you actually have to recover, and the correct recovery position based on your shot selection. Now that you understand the principles of maintaining good court position, we can apply that knowledge to the building of points. Your match mentality is the frame of mind that shapes your attitude, thought process, and decision making in competition. This mentality will determine how you respond under the pressures of competition. Some players allow certain circumstances to affect their mentality in match play. For instance, having to play an opponent who is much better than you, or playing an opponent who everyone knows you should beat, can cause added pressure on you affecting your match mentality. In this situation, we have a boy competing against a girl, both players fairly similar in skill level. Especially for the boy, this can be a difficult circumstance to maintain the frame of mind to build points. If he is not careful, he may fall into what we call a mentality trap. The boy in this situation has fallen into what we call the go for broke mentality trap, putting the pressure on himself to try to end the point on nearly every swing of the racket. This mentality surfaces when a player tries to blow an opponent off the court but also can happen if a player feels that by keeping the ball in play the opponent will end the point first so I better go for it now while I have the chance as a result players in this go for broke mentality have trouble with consistency frustration usually sets in as they produce far more errors than winners and wind up beating themselves the other extreme mentality trap is the tentative pusher mentality in fear of making errors a player with this mindset may be consistent but has difficulty controlling points and is always in a defensive mode. Unless the opponent self-destructs, the tentative pusher will have a hard time winning points, especially at higher levels of competition. Learning to build points and establish control in point play will help both types of mentalities to get back on track winning matches. Two types of players. The offensive player who wants to go for broke and hit a winner on the first ball. Player number two, the player who's going to keep the ball in play all day long and just wait for you to make a mistake. I want both of you players to add a little bit more of strategy to your playing style. Notice a little bit more of strategy, not changing. The player who goes for broke on the first or second ball, don't do that. Let's hit three, four, five shots offensively. Instead of going for a winner on return to serve, go for a good solid placement. Take the short ball and then do something with it. Against the pusher, you're behind baseline and that ball is sitting there. Don't go for a line ball. Go for an offensive ball that makes that pusher run for their life. And after doing this and applying this type of philosophy, you will be causing a lot of forced errors. And that's the name of the game. The pusher. I'm going to keep it in play four times. I'm going to keep it in play five times, six times. During that rally, you had an opportunity to do a little bit more with the ball and you must take advantage of that opportunity why keeping the ball in play too long will backfire and why will it backfire the player on the other side the offensive player is going to say hey all i have to do is be patient with this pusher because eventually they're going to give me the ball that i can hurt them and you know why that pusher is not going to take advantage of any mistake i make and you the pusher five, six balls against that aggressive player or against the ordinary player. And you had a ball that you could do something with. What did you do? You got it back in play, ran back to the baseline. You said, I know they're going to miss this one. It doesn't work that way. You must do a little bit more with those offensive balls and the big aggressive player. Be patient. If you got out today and we went to a tournament, you went to practice, and you played one of our girls or one of our boys and they just pushed but they never missed they're going to get every ball back what would you do with it i think the best thing against those players is go to the net 
Just go, go to in the valley. Just move right in. Would you try to move a pusher though? Yes, yes, definitely. Move him around and then finish the point at the net. That's very good. Um, unfortunately, I, I feel I play a little too defensively, and I need to get a little more aggressive in my game, a little more, uh, you know, serve and volley, but that means I got to be in a little better physical shape. Building points is a mentality. Use your style of play. Let's create a combination of shots to create the opportunity to end the point. To best understand how the concept of building points works, think of all your different strokes and shots as individual players on your team. Each player on your team, your serve, return, forehand, backhand, and all your other strokes and shots have a role to play on the team, and together they will work through the course of a point to create the best point-ending opportunities. Before I start the point, I actually think before, myself, before I hit, what am I going to do? For instance, I might do a serve out wide, the guy might hit it up the middle, might take a backhand or inside out forehand to the, inside, uh, to the backhand corner and put the volley away. That's just one pattern. Another pattern might be a kick serve to the backhand and then a forehand cross court or a volley cross court. I like, to, uh, I like to play the points before I actually do play the points, if you know what I mean, in my mind. In a building of points, we have four key elements. The start, the setup, the opportunity and finish it, all in your style of play. Learning the four phases of a point will help you understand the objectives for each of your strokes and shots and organize them into a game plan for building points. All athletic events have a starting point. Football, basketball, the car race. Tennis is no different. It starts out with the serve and a return to serve. We do not want you to lose the race from the starting point. And that's what this video is going to show you. You start it with the serve, and you start it with the return to serve. That's the starting point. Phase one, the start of points. This includes the serve and return of serve. Your objective on serve and return should be to get the point started and try to establish control off the first ball. Inconsistency in phase one is usually the result of players using the serve and return to try to end the point, which causes too many errors. Adjust your mentality by reminding yourself that the serve and return are intended to start points and avoid going for too many aces and winners in phase one. The setup is the rally to create the opportunity ball. Now, to create that opportunity ball may require three shots, four shots. It's the same scenario that takes place in basketball. They pass it around, they wait, they wait, they wait, boom. They got the opportunity to take advantage of it. 